guys, it's your girl Matt Cox here with MA Couture Crafting. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. Let's go on this California quilt run. That's what I'm doing. I'm hopping from shop to shop to shop. And this time I went to San Diego to see the quilt stores in that area. So this particular store is not in San Diego, but it's coming out of San Diego on my way back. It's actually the very last store that I visited. And I'm so glad this was the way that I ended my trip because it was just full of the warm and the fuzzies. Yes, I'm talking about Inspirations Quilt Shop. It is so welcoming and clean and just bright and you can feel the creativity when you walk in and you can feel the customer service i had a different kind of customer service experience there it's the kind of quilt shop where i wanted to go back the next day and the next day after that and the next day after that it's just what you think of when you think of a quilt stop well what i think of when i think of a quilt shop there are certain things that i like you know as far as creativity goes and color and just somebody who's doing something different. Their customers were friendly. The owner of the shop was uber friendly. Um, her daughter was uber, uber friendly. I enjoyed myself. I wanted to stay there. Matter of fact, I closed the store. So I stayed there a while. That was one of those, okay, ma'am, it's time for you to leave. Not really, but hey. Um, I just had such a, such a, such a good time in that store. Something that stands out, they do panels. Um, they do stuff with panels I never would have thought of. Panels are something that they enjoy, and so they stock a lot of panels. I don't know a lot of stores that stock that many panels. They also have their classroom open now, so they're doing their socials and things like that. There were people in there sewing when I went into the store. They have their own patterns that they do and produce, and they have online shopping. So if you are not in Valley Center, you can't get down, go on their website, and you can see what they have. So if you'd like to see the store, please continue watching. If you haven't done so already, please like, comment, and subscribe. I love comments. Talk to me. Tell me what you think. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye-bye. So this is what it looks like from the outside. You walk over a little bit of a bridge. It's kind of a hidden gem. And this is what you see right upon entry. Love that bathroom. So clean. It was a great pit stop, guys. <laughs> You guys know how I feel about bathrooms and I feel like we should have quilts in bathrooms and quilt stores, but maybe it's just me. So right here we have some batiks and some panels on the wall. Like I said, they love their panels and they do some pretty cool things with them. Really interesting um, to see somebody be excited about panels because I am not excited about panels. So over here we have some, some prints of uh, animal prints, some animal fabrics. Then we have this super popular, who is that by? It's not Laurel Birch, but you see those cats everywhere. You see this color story everywhere in all the quilt shops. We have some patriotic fabric here for your quilts of valor or your 4th of July quilts. There's actually quite a bit of fabric in here. I say it's a smaller store, but nice selection. Some samples there on the tables, bowl cozies, because like I tell you guys, the world has gone bowl cozy crazy. Some pretty um, colors here for kids, for your kids quilts, or if you just like those colors, yay for you. I don't know what it is about Indian fabric, but I am very drawn to it. And that was some Indian fabric there. More novelties and kids prints here. Or prints for you if you like that I shouldn't call them kids prints I hate when people call my Disney stuff kids stuff so if you like it it's for you we have some um, I think those are wide backs right there I think fall I want to make a fall quilt right now for absolutely no reason other than the fact that that is just some beautiful fabric and then in the back of the store they have just a wall of fabrics you got your whites over there your black holiday um your christmas fabrics some more ooh sunflowers and then in that corner there are some books we'll get to that in a second some stripes here stripes and dots you know this is where i want to be stripes and dots i love buying books i am a book and pattern girl not so much a ton of fabric but tons of patterns tons of books so I'm always looking to see if they have something that I want. Of course, I bought a couple. Matter of fact, I bought the retro aprons. And I think I bought something else. I'm sure I did because I love books. Shout out if you love books too and or patterns. Because 
it's a thing. So we have some notions over here in this corner, some more books, buttons and things, more patterns, pink sand beach. I love that I see them everywhere now. You've got your best press, you need your best press. Again, I'm in their notions corner right now. Rotary blades, scissors galore, patterns, their patterns. That right there are mostly the patterns that they have designed themselves. You've got your batting, your rulers here in the middle of this notion section. They have a little bit of everybody with the rulers. They have some Cheryl Phillips stuff. I wish I had bought that Cheryl Phillips ruler when I had seen it, but I didn't. I ended up buying it shortly thereafter. <laughs> And we've got more notions from a different angle here. Mono poly thread, your needles that you might need, specialty needles, clean your iron, steam a seam, color wheels. Good notion selection. I get to see this stuff again with you guys when I'm doing this uh, video. So if you guys are in the area, please check them out. Again, this store gives me all the warm and fuzzies. I'm really pleased with it. It's definitely a store that I will frequent. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.